Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is your host, Santos Capilian Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to do is to continue my video tutorial series for BACnet controller script program. Okay. Now, this will be part 5. Uh, part 4, what we have done in part 4 is we tried to create points in our controller. Then we try to uh, create our script program. Then I have created also in advance a graphic file. Okay, because we want to write a control logic program for a specific equipment. Then we need to create also a graphic object wherein we will control and monitor or we will try to monitor the performance of the equipment because we can also see what is happening in our uh, equipment through or by looking at the script program but uh, these are for engineers and technical people but we don't expect uh, all engineers will be the one using our system we will be having our operators and some of the maintenance people who are not familiar with this uh, technicalities so we want to present them an uh, a user or a graphical user interface wherein it will be easy for them to understand okay so here uh, i already created the graphics here okay so this one so twin exhaust ventilation fan control okay then some of the points you already created in our controller like this uh hand of auto start stop command run status trip status then the same thing in EF2. But like this EF1 run hours, then operator force start, uh, operator enable, time schedule, are software points that we need to recreate in our controller. Okay. So this is our controller. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have created the object in the controller itself because you can create also here in the automation server. Okay. Now, uh, I have chosen to create it in the BACnet controller, which is our B3H4, okay? Because I don't want to uh, create so much traffic in the, or create so much objects in my automation server or in my server, okay? So I can create in the controller, okay? Now, guys, uh, one thing that you need to consider here is when you are creating new objects or new point or value in your controller when you created a new one uh, that will be need to be downloaded okay because here we are creating the object okay new object in our controller now in our new controller we have these points like alarm dates day of the month these points are already created in the controller itself now we are creating new point like this one you can the office status run trip. okay now actually i will i will show you what i'm trying to say here i will create a new value okay so i will create the backnet analog value digital value okay i will create backnet analog value okay so i will say this one is ef1 okay so i'm just showing you how you are going to uh, create a new value in your controller. EF1 run hours. Okay. So next create. Now, uh, as you can see, EF1 run hours. So this is the EF1 run hours. Now, guys, this one I have created this and downloaded this point from the controller to our server. Okay. So you will see there is no error here. Okay, so value that is inactive. Okay, now if you will, uh, okay, I will close it again. Now let me show you. Okay, application here. here. Okay, now oh, that is binding. Okay, let me. Okay, now let me again show you the points we have. So I have here the run hours. Okay. Now this run hours, if I will try to see, okay, so since this is a uh, 
uh, value, okay, we don't need to, okay. Now, let me create another point so that I will be able to, okay, let, I will create some point here, okay, in our uh, B3624, okay, so here, uh, new, okay, I will create a point, a physical point, okay, so let's say that is a backnet digital input, okay, I will say, I will be monitoring here in this controller uh, fire alarm also. So fire, I will create another fire alarm uh, status here. Okay. So next. Okay. So I have shown you already how we uh, created the points in my previews. Okay. So I will say this is input channel one, then create. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to express something here, okay, guys? So please bear with me. Okay, here I will create, I will show you the newly created points. Okay, so this is the newly created point in this backnet controller. So V3624, uh, I have created a new physical point. So if I will, okay. So I have not, I don't have any uh, error here. Okay, but if you will see some error here, you, all you need to do is like this. If you see some error and you cannot see the value, then you will go to download all objects. So meaning this download all objects, it will try to download the created object in the controller to our server. Okay, so let me show you this one. Okay, yes. So the download operation will attempt to delete any object in the backnet device that is not in server. Do you want to proceed? Okay, in the backnet device, Okay, so in the bar, delete any object, the download operation will attempt to delete any object in the backnet device that is not in server. So uh, if there is uh, an object which is not in this uh, backnet device, it will be deleted. Okay, so yeah, I will just say yes. Okay, just like I'm trying to download, uh, let's say I created one point there so we, you will be able to see it there yeah, then it will be the device will be reset okay then if you have a script in that in this controller then it will be recompiled okay okay uh, you have seen the new point i created there okay okay so let's just wait Okay, now let's say if, let's say someone turn off, let's say someone turn off the controller or the DDC panel and you have seen some error here, like there will be a red cross here and an error in this one, You all you need to do is recompile, okay, or redownload. So what you will do, you will go here and download all of this if you have seen that error, okay. Now, actually, I uh, maybe in the next uh, tutorial, I will show you that one, okay? But here, uh, so the, part, the scope of this part five is to show you how to bind the points, okay? The graphics file, okay? Now, as I said, I have created this in advance, okay? Now, this uh, graphical user interface, uh, will we will bind it. To the controller, meaning let's say I'll give you an example. This EF100 power status. Okay, so we need to bind or tell this point where are you going to get the real time value from the field. So we need to bind it. So uh, let me just show you how we are going to bind it. Edit bindings. Okay, as you can see here, uh, the object, this graphic object, is already binded to our uh controller point this is our twin ef3804 backnet controller then we have created this point then all we need to do let's say this point is not yet binded so let me delete that one okay because i bind it in advance okay so let's say uh ef1 run status is not yet binded to the backnet controller point so all you need to do is click and drop it to the respective graphic file so it should match if one run status is from my graphic file, 
So if one running status, this is the one. Then in the bindings, we need to bind it to meaning where this point will take the value. So you will take it from this controller then to the created point there where we stay. So just click and drop it to the appropriate uh, similar points. Okay, this one. I have one. I have this one in my graphics. Then this is the one point I've created in the controller. So all I need to do is just drop it there. Then again, I have trip here. I have one trip. Then just drag it there. Then don't forget to save. Okay. So if you see that the mouse pointer changes to a pointing finger, it means meaning to say it's already. Uh, Binded. Now, as I said, if you see some error here, a cross error, or there's an error here, all you need to do is go to your controller, then re-download all the objects, okay? Then that will solve the problem, or that will clear the error, okay? Now, guys, uh, I already created these graphics in advance for you, so if you are watching my video tutorial, uh, I have created a step-by-step -step tutorial for creating a graphics like this. So I don't need to repeat it here, okay? Because the scope of this uh, series of video tutorial is script programming, okay? So guys, once again, uh, I think this will be enough for the part five. So I can proceed with part six, which is the uh, programming, script programming, okay? Now guys, again, uh, this is not intended for advanced uh, BMS engineer. This is for beginners, okay? So if you are an expert, this is not uh, intended for you. This is for beginners, those who are new graduates and those who are technical graduates who are wishing to join an MEP company or those who want to become a BMS engineer. Uh, this is tutorial is for you. Again, before I will end this, I would like to say God bless us all. And you can appreciate my what I'm trying to do here by subscribing. You can click the notification bell. And you can also like, share, and put your comments in the video. And I will try to answer it within my capacity. Again, I'm not, uh, I'm not claiming any expertise here. I'm just trying to share what I have learned in my previous, uh, in my previous projects in the Middle East, okay? So again, before we end, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.